What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to dive into and rank the top 10 suburbs in the Triangle area. Let's dive in. All right, here we go. We're, so we're pulling out of a glass jar that I can't get my hand in, but let's find the first one here. All right, first up, Wendell. Oh, Wendell. I'm going to put Wendell at number six to start. All right, so Wendell is a uh, a, bit, a deep breath. <laughs> it's like he doesn't like my ranking. <laughs> this is Wendell. So at number six, we've got Wendell. Wendell is a thriving community about 20 minutes outside of downtown Raleigh that has seen a massive surge in growth over the last five years. There's a huge community there called Wendell Falls. You can watch one of our videos about Wendell Falls. It's a neighborhood with four to 5,000 homes and Wendell is continuing to see massive growth. One of the reasons that I like Wendell is it has a wide range of prices to choose from. You can be below 400,000 and you can be up to about eight or $900,000. We're not seeing anything above a million in Wendell quite yet, but I suspect that we will in the coming years. Wendell Falls is an incredible community. If you're looking for a planned community with multiple pools, clubhouse, restaurants, shopping centers, all of that kind of nearby and walkable, then Wendell may be a great option for you at the affordable price. Similar type of neighborhoods in Pittsburgh or Holly Springs are gonna cost you significantly more. So I love Wendell for that reason. I also love the location of Wendell. Wendell is easy to get into downtown Raleigh. It's a short commute, but it's also an easy drive. It's not too loaded with traffic. It definitely has some, but it's not too bad. And if you wanna to head to the coast down in North Carolina, you're even closer by being in Wendell, depending upon where you're going, of course. But if you are a beach lover and you kind of need to be in Raleigh for whatever reason, but you also want easy access to the beach, Wendell's a great place. I'm putting Wendell at number six for now. All right, let's find out what's next. Garner. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna put Garner at number seven. It seems like cheating, but I'm going to put Garner at number seven. All right. So Garner is a little bit closer to Raleigh. It's about 15 minutes into downtown Raleigh from Garner. It also has this massive uh, highway project that's coming in called I-540, which is going to loop into Garner and it's going to create easy access to the airport from Garner. One of the reasons I love Garner is the affordability. There's a ton of new construction in Garner, um, but one of the best things about it is those two items combined. You can get a brand new house for under $500,000 in Garner right now, which is essentially unheard of in Wake County. So I love Garner for that reason. I love its connectivity to downtown Raleigh. That is one of its best features in my opinion. One of the things that is hard for locals to understand is how far Garner has come. It's never been a community that many locals would think to move to, but as people have come into the Triangle area and we're averaging about 100 people a day, the thing to realize is that we have to move somewhere and Garner is becoming this next kind of place that people want to be in. And so I love Garner for that reason. It's got a cute downtown. Honestly, downtown is nothing to write home about yet. I think there will be some things coming down the line for it to continue to grow and be a great place to go. But honestly, I don't even know if Garner needs a cool downtown when you have downtown Raleigh 15 minutes away. But I love Garner for that reason. And I do think we're going to see continued growth in Garner, especially because of its affordability right now. All right, who's next? Let's find out. Holly Springs. I'm going to put Holly Springs at number three. So Holly Springs has always been a favorite of Triangle residents. It's always been a favorite of people moving into the Triangle. It has one of my favorite neighborhoods in the Triangle called 12 Oaks. 12 Oaks is kind of a resort style living. It's got multiple pools, a golf course, awesome clubhouse. Um, there's about 1,500 to 2,000 homes there. We're seeing a massive growth of a 
55 plus community being built by Toll Brothers. This is a luxury 55 plus community, over $800,000 for that home, for those homes that Toll Brothers is building in Holly Springs. But Holly Springs has basically everything anyone could need. It's got its own shopping center. It's got a super cute downtown that they've redone. It's got a uh, wooden bat college baseball team, which is really fun. You can take your kids to a baseball game for like $5. It's called the Salamanders. It's very cool. Um, so I really like Holly Springs for those reasons. It's got great schools to choose from, both public and private schools. One of the negatives to Holly Springs though, for me, is the traffic. They, in my opinion, have not done the best job preparing for the growth that they've seen in Holly Springs. And so I do worry about traffic. I always tell people there's really one major road through Holly Springs called Highway 55. And just quite frankly, it is a very busy road. It's always congested. And another thing that they did in my opinion, wrong in Holly Springs, is you can't make a left turn anywhere in Holly Springs on Highway 55. So if you need to make a left turn, you have to go all the way down the highway, make a U-turn, come back, and then you can go that way. And so for that reason, I just don't love the traffic in Holly Springs. I love 95% of the other things they got going on in Holly Springs. But if you're somebody who's gonna have to commute every single day for work, I'd be hesitant to think about Holly Springs. Uh, Morrisville. All right. I'm going to put Morrisville at number five. I might catch some heat for that, but I have my reasoning. So Morrisville is a small community outside of Cary, kind of close to Cary, Apex. Um, but it's a small community that has continued to grow. One of the reasons I put it at number five is there's not a downtown in Morrisville, really. Um, so they don't have any great amenity areas around their downtown. They have a ton of housing options to choose from. It's very close to the airport. So if you need to travel for work and being close to the airport, Morrisville is a great spot for that. They also have some very cool um, amenities that the town has taken on, such as um, a huge cricket field where they host international cricket competitions. So if you're into cricket or wanted to watch it, Morrisville's a great place to go do that. But I put it at number five, just quite frankly, because to me, more than anything, Morrisville is a bedroom community. There's not much to do in Morrisville when compared to the other cities, but it's proximity to the airport, it's proximity to the planned Apple campus here in the Triangle, and its proximity to Research Triangle Park definitely puts it above some of the others, in my opinion. But again, the reason I put it at number five is just because of the lack of the ability to do stuff in Morrisville, right? If you wanna go to a baseball game, you're probably driving to Durham to go to the Durham Bulls. If you wanna go see a hockey game, you're driving to Raleigh to go see the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, they do have shopping and grocery stores and a Target and et cetera. So they do have those kinds of things within Morrisville. I personally just don't think there's a whole lot to do within Morrisville city limits itself. So that's why I put it at number five. All right, let's find out who's next. All right, next up, Wake Forest. All right, I'm putting it at number four and I'll tell you why. So Wake Forest is great. There's a lot of good things going on. My biggest negative for Wake Forest is the traffic. To me, the traffic in Wake Forest is worse than Holly Springs. And quite frankly, I think the traffic in Wake Forest is worse than it is anywhere in the Triangle. They have had a ton of growth over the last few years. And I don't think they've done as good a job as some of the other municipalities when it comes to planning for that growth. So uh, for that reason, I'm gonna put them at number four. Now, they do have some really nice communities there. They have Hazen Tree, which is a beautiful golf course community. They have a couple, sorry, they have several new construction neighborhoods with prices in the 1.5 to $3 million range. So you can find these beautiful brand new homes on large lots with tons of room to room. It's just a little bit further away. So for example, if you live in Wake Forest and you want to get into downtown Raleigh, 
on a good day, you're looking at at least a 40 to 45 minute drive. You add traffic in, you're probably hitting closer to an hour. So for that reason, just me personally, that's why I put Wake Forest at number four and not higher. Quite frankly, I think as a town, they have a lot more to offer than some of the others. They have an awesome downtown. They have tons of shopping, tons of breweries, tons of things to do in Wake Forest. For me though, the traffic is the number one issue in Wake Forest. I'd love for them to see that, see that get better. But the problem is the two main corridors that kind of feed into Wake Forest are what they are. There's not much fixing what they are. And so traffic is going to continue to be an issue for Wake Forest, especially as they continue to add more people. So for that reason, I put Wake Forest at number four. Great spot if you want a bigger lot. Great spot if you want a newer home. But if you're going to commute anywhere, be prepared for the traffic in Wake Forest and getting to other places throughout the triangle. All right, so we've picked five. We got five more to go. Let's see who's next. Oh, drum roll, please. Nightdale. Man, I didn't think about Nightdale. All right. Ooh. I'm going to put Nightdale. I might catch some heat. I don't know who's left. I'm putting Nightdale at number nine for the time being. I might come back and change that. Number nine for the time being. All right, Nidal is a small community outside of Raleigh. Again, just like Garner, an easy commute into Raleigh. Not a big downtown area, nothing really going on there. Kind of like Mooresville, there's not much to do in Nidal. If you want to do something, you're more than likely going to have to drive somewhere else. Nidal, again, does have that easy commute into downtown Raleigh. You're looking like 15, 20 minutes, so that's not too bad. They do have really new homes in the area. They also have some older homes, but the new construction homes there are generally affordable, though those prices are continuing to increase. You can expect to see new construction in Nightdale around the $500,000 to $800,000 range. Now, as growth has happened in Nightdale, they've continued to add some really nice amenities. They have a beautiful new YMCA. They have tons of shopping and, you know, again, all the usual suspects of Target, great grocery stores, Best Buys, etc. So they do have those options. Again, to me, there's just not much to do in Nightdale necessarily. I would also say another kind of negative for Nightdale is just the connectivity. It's easy to get into downtown Raleigh, but to get to some of the other places throughout the triangle, it's a little bit more difficult. I don't think you have the traffic problem that you do, say, in Wake Forest, that you you don't have that in Nightdale, but you still have some traffic issues, in my opinion. Um, but it's more of a connectivity issue than a heavy traffic issue. So I'm going to put Nightdale at number nine. Like I said, I might come back and move it up, but for the time being, I'm putting Nightdale at number nine on this list. All right, let's see who we got next. Apex. All right. Yes. Holly Springs was three. All right. I'm putting Apex at number two. Now I will say, I do have a Southwest Wake County bias. So take that for what it's worth. But I'm putting Wake County at number two, or excuse me, I'm putting Apex at number two. Apex is one of the best places to raise a family. It's always been named in several publications for the last 10, 15 years as a safe place to live, a great place to raise a family, great schools, great downtown that's continuing to grow. Now it's a smaller downtown. There's you know a few restaurants and you can watch our video on downtown Apex here. But to me, Downtown Apex is just like one of those coolest places in the triangle. Tons of shopping, easy to get to carry, easy to get into downtown Raleigh, easy to get to the airport. There's a ton to like about Apex. I'll tell you, when people move into the triangle area, one of the things that I often see is people will uh, say, I wanna live in Cary. And then we'll do some price discovery in Cary and they'll say, all right, what about Apex? So Apex, I would say, is the somewhat more affordable brother to Cary. They have a very similar feel, a very similar government where they use their tax dollars very wisely. But I would say Apex is a little bit more affordable than Cary, not by much. That certainly would be a stretch to say it's affordable, but it's more affordable than Cary is at this time. 
I also have a great plan for the downtown area to continue to revitalize that. There's gonna be some new housing in the downtown area. And we just see this huge kind of advocacy for living in these smaller downtowns. Downtown Cary's growth has been um, crazy. Downtown Apex has certainly seen that, and I think they're gonna see it even more than they already are over the next five to 10 years. So I put Apex at number two. It's a favorite of mine. Again, I do have a Southwest Wake County bias, but I think Apex is a great place to live. And like I said, if you wanna learn more about downtown Apex, watch our video here. All right, let's find out who's next. Oh, that's tough. All right, we've got Fuquay Verena. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna move everybody down a slot and put Fuquay at number four, which is probably my Southwest Wake County bias at play. But, all right, I'm gonna put Fuquay at number five. Wake Forest can stay number four. Fuquay number five. Fuquay is a great little town. Again, kind of how I see searches in our Triangle area go. People come in, they say, I wanna live in Cary. They realize, hmm, don't love what I can afford in Cary. Let's look in Apex. Hmm, don't love what I can afford in Apex. Let's look in Holly Springs. Oh can't afford what I want in Holly Springs. Finally, they land in Fuquay. So I'm not saying that Fuquay, there are certainly some people who come to the Triangle looking to live in Fuquay, but oftentimes it becomes a place of, well, this is where I can afford, and so this is where I need to live. You know, I think Fuquay is a great place. The downtown continues to thrive, although it is dominated by one, one business in particular called Aviator. You can watch our video on downtown Fuquay here. There are is everything from the Aviator Brewery to the Aviator Apartments. So downtown Fuqua is definitely kind of ruled by Aviator, but it's a very cool downtown, nice things to do, easy connectivity to Holly Springs, good shopping. They're getting their first Target in Fuqua. If you don't realize this, if you live in the Triangle, going to Target like twice a week is a mandatory thing to do since I've said Target a million times on this video but it is a huge deal that Fuquay is getting a target in their neighborhood instead of having to drive to Holly Springs. There's a lot of new construction going on in Fuquay. Prices continue to increase. I would say new construction, you're looking at a minimum of 750 for new construction, which is crazy. Even five years ago, that would have not been the case, but it is one of the last frontiers in the wait in the triangle area where you can get a custom built home for under a million dollars which to me is a great feature i'm a huge proponent of custom built homes and finding those for less than seven or excuse me finding those for less than a million in wake county is very difficult and fuquay is one of the places where you can do that now one of the negatives to fuquay just like holly springs because they're kind of border each other is the traffic traffic in fuquay is pretty brutal uh, and it's difficult to get from Fuquay into Cary because there's basically one way to go. Um, there are a couple different back roads you could take, but really there's one main route that people would take into Cary. And so traffic is pretty rough there. They are extending I-540 into Fuquay, so that will help alleviate some of that, but it's certainly not gonna solve the problem. I'm putting, I'm putting Fuquay slightly behind Wake Forest just because Wake Forest has nicer, sorry, Wake Forest has some more communities, more new construction, uh, and people generally do love Wake Forest when they move there. And so I'm gonna put Wake Fuquay slightly behind Wake Forest, but I think they're kind of neck and neck if you're asking me. All right, let's see who's next. Ah, oh, another tough one. All right, Pittsburgh. Uh, I might catch some heat for this, but I'm putting Pittsburgh behind Fuquay. I'll probably catch some heat for that, that's fair. Pittsburgh at number six. So Pittsburgh is a massive growth area in our area. It's going from about 5,000 residents in 2019 to they're gonna have over 65,000 by 2030. So it's a massive growth area, tons of new construction. Disney, 
Yes, Disney is building a 4,000 home community in Chatham County, in Pittsburgh specifically. We've got an awesome neighborhood called Chatham Park. You can watch our video in Pittsburgh here. It's a very cool town, cool downtown, great little scene that they're continuing to revitalize, all kind of centered around the old courthouse in downtown Pittsburgh. So it's a very cool town. For me, the reason I put it here is just because it's further away. Once you go to Pittsburgh, you're kind of in Pittsburgh. You're about 20 to 30 minutes to Chapel Hill. You're about 45 minutes to downtown Raleigh. So if you're looking for a place with great connectivity, I'm not so sure that Pittsburgh is it, but if you're looking for a place where you can go and stay and not have to leave, Pittsburgh definitely has enough to offer for that. Like I said, they do have a ton of new construction options to choose from. They have a great planned community called Chatham Park, which has been years in the making and is very popular. And they have a wide range of price ranges in there, anywhere from 400,000 all the way to above 1.5 million. So a wide range of homes to choose from. I just, for me, what I think with Pittsburgh is that getting to and from Cary or getting to and from Raleigh on a daily basis is, is fairly difficult and, and could be taxing. Again, this is one of the places, whereas if you're considering a move to Pittsburgh and you're gonna have to come in to Cary, Apex or Raleigh on a daily basis, I would certainly make that drive a couple times before you hone down on a property specifically and make sure that that drive is something that you're comfortable with. All right, let's find out who's next and find out how this list rounds out. All right, number one, and probably no surprise, Carrie. Carrie has always been a favorite of people moving into our area. It's the number one place where people start their search when they start searching in Wake County. It's one of the safest places in America to live. They've got uh, an incredible park called the Downtown Cary Park. You can watch our video on that park here. They've done, they took 20 years to plan that park and it is just an incredible park and an incredible place to go visit. Downtown Cary is one of my personal favorite places to go on a daily basis. There's just a lot to love about downtown Cary and Cary in general. One of the negatives though with Cary that I will say is that the price appreciation continues to outpace local residents, which is certainly a tough thing to swallow for people. We've seen the average price point in Cary continue to grow. In fact, I was just looking, the average price of current homes on the market in Cary is a million dollars. There's 122 homes on the market right now, and the average price is $1 million in Cary. If you had told somebody that 10 years ago, they would have said you're a liar. But I think that's the toughest part to swallow for people, especially those of us who've lived here forever understanding the price and the desire to live in Cary uh, is just hard for people to grasp. But for those of you who are coming in from different places, Cary is a place where people just flock to. They ultimately end up loving it. One of the things that I think that Cary has done a great job of is their government officials have done a great job of understanding how to use their tax dollars wisely and how to benefit the community as a whole. Hey everybody, I'm Davis Holt. I'm the principal broker with the results team. We want to be your number one resource for all things Triangle Real Estate. Let us know if you have any questions. If you're moving in or near the Triangle in the next nine to 90 days, we'd love to help. All right, so that's my list, that's my opinion. I would love to hear from you. What's your list? Rank your top 10 in the comments below and let me know why I'm wrong on my rankings. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below your list. We are a real estate team. We want to help you if you're considering a move into or through the Triangle area. Let us know, our contact info is below. Shoot us a text, shoot us a DM, shoot us an email. Happy to connect with you and understand your needs and answer any questions you have about the area. And by the way, if you wanna watch a video on any of these towns, here's a playlist for you right here. Go ahead and watch. We have videos on all these towns and we'd love to hear which one is your number one. We'll talk to you soon.